All right, guys, I want to introduce you to one more series today, and this series is going to be a series for the function 1 over 1 minus x. And I'm not going to go through all of the derivatives and such, but if you did, you would find something really magical happens. If we went through, and this, um, if we went through all of our derivatives and plugged everything in, it works out to be 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth plus dot 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 plus x to the n. There's no fractions. There's no factorials. It's probably the easiest pattern in the world. And let's take a look and see how, uh, how good this is. Let's find the interval of convergence. So let's do, first of all, let's say we're dealing with the series from 0 to infinity of x to the n. This is equal to my function 1 over 1 minus x, but we want to find out what values of x this is valid for. So I'm going to set up my interval of convergence. We're going to do the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of, now my general term is just x to the n. So I've got x to the n plus 1 divided by x to the n. And this simplifies to the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of x. Notice there's no um, my n's basically canceled. And so that is my limit of my ratio. And we always set this less than 1. And so we separate this to negative 1 is less than x and less than 1. So let's check our endpoints. What about at negative 1? Well, if we plug negative 1 into our series, I'm going to get negative 1 to the n power which is going to oscillate between negative 1 and 1 and negative 1 and 1. This is a divergent series. Now let's check x equals 1. So that's just going to give me 1 to the n, which is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which obviously diverges. So I don't get convergence at the endpoints. So in other words, this is only a valid answer if negative 1 is less than x is less than 1. This is our interval of convergence. Now let's take, I'm going to erase this, all of this stuff here. I'm going to come back here, and this should not be shocking for us. This actually should make a lot of sense. Because what kind of series am I dealing with if it just goes 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth plus dot, dot, dot? What kind of series is this? This is a geometric series. How do I know this? Because we, are, we have a common ratio. Every time we are multiplying times x. 1 times x is x. x times s is x squared. x times x squared times x is x cubed. So our common ratio is x. And we should know from our geometric series that the absolute value of that common ratio should be less than what for it to converge? 1. So we should have known that this is going to converge from negative 1 to 1. We can't include the endpoints. And on top of that, do you remember what the sum of a geometric series works out to be? It's the first term divided by 1 minus common ratio. Let's take a look at this series. 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. What is that first term? It's 1. Take a look at what I have here for my function, 1. What is the common ratio? The common ratio is what we're multiplying times. It's, it's x. Take a look right here. Do you see how this function matches perfectly the sum of an infinite geometric series? So this is a very special geometric series for us, or a very special series. 1 over 1 minus x for that function, this power series will converge to that function as long as we're dealing with values of x between negative 1 and 1. So let's, um, let's write a power series expansion for f of x equals 1 over 1 minus 2x. This is very simple. We can, just use, we can just use our substitution properties that we're used to. We are going to, we know that 1 over 1 minus x is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot, 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 plus x to the n. So what do you think 1 over 1 minus 2x would equal? Well, we're just going to take all of those x's and replace it with 2x. So this is going to be 1 plus 2x plus 
2x squared plus 2x cubed plus dot 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 to the general term of 2x to the n provided that 2x has to be between what two numbers? Negative 1 and 1. And if you divide both sides by 2, we get values that we can plug in for x here. This is a geometric series. We don't have to include the endpoints. So this is like the first four terms and the general term for the power series expansion for 1 over 1 minus 2x. Let's do one last example here. What about x squared over uh, 1 plus 2x? Well, I can rewrite this as x squared times 1 over 1 minus negative 2x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with the power series expansion for 1 over 1 minus negative 2x, and then I'll just distribute an x squared. So let's do that real quick. 1 over 1 minus x is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. So 1 over 1 minus negative 2x would equal, I'm going to replace all of these x's with negative 2x. And what we're going to get is an alternating series because when I square the negative 2x, I get positive 4x squared. And then it's going to be negative 8x cubed. And then dot, 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 negative 1 to the n times 2x to the n. So the last thing I need to do to get my power series expansion for x squared over 1 plus 2x is I need to multiply through by x squared. So I'm going to get x squared and then minus 2x cubed and then plus 4x to the fourth and then minus 8x to the fifth plus dot 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 negative 1 to the n times 2 to the n times x squared I'm replacing the x, I'm sorry, replacing my, yeah, I'm multiplying by x squared times x to the n plus 2. I'm just adding two more factors of x. Take a look at this expansion here. x squared, 2x cubed, 4x to the fourth. What is the first term in this series expansion? Look where this is right here. So this tells you your first term. And what is your common ratio? Well, the common ratio is multiplying by negative 2x each time. So if you see a series expansion, you can tell what it converges to by going backwards. So let's see if we can't do that just real quick. What if I had um, x plus, um, I, don't, I, I guess I'll do x squared, x cubed, and then plus x to the fifth and then plus x to the seventh, and then plus x to the ninth, and then plus dot, dot, dot. What would this be equal to? What would that add up to be? Well, we've got the first term, which is x, and what's the common ratio? What are we multiplying by each time? We're multiplying by x squared. So that's what that expansion would be. So I hope that that made sense with my geometric series and we're going to do a couple of Taylor polynomials that are similar to this tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then.